Pisces, welcome to Distilled Tarot. This is your weekly reading for the week of November 30th. We're going to start off with um, a big bang, astrologically speaking, with a full moon eclipse at the beginning of the week. So look out for some, um, some really big changes. Some could be startling, could be shocking energies going on. That would be for, for everyone, not just Pisces. Um, for you guys, we have the Queen of Needles in reverse, kicking off your reading. So you're focused squarely on someone who is tired of listening to other people's opinions. It's like you're inundated with, uh, you should do it this way, you should do it that way. Like, no, 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 no. Stop, you know, buzzing in my ear. Let me do this on my own. Your challenge that you're facing is the six of presence because um, you can't shut out these these other people completely because you're somewhat reliant on them, um, either for money or a place to live or there's some sort of support that you're getting from these individuals who are um, giving you opinions. Um, it's you, the challenge here is you're trying to decipher, like okay. What's the healthy way to allow them to have input in my life, if at all? Can I somehow express to them that I need them to give less input on my life? Will they still be there for me in the way that I need them to be? It's like this whole um, kind of interconnected situation. You are focusing on the Four of Pentacles. So you're really trying to hold on to the stability that you have right now. Um, that tells me that you're feeling like the future is uncertain. You're not sure what's going to happen next. What's going on in your recent past that led up to this? We have the Knight of Candles. So taking action toward what you believe in or someone coming toward you with a passionate offer. Let's see what's... Um, the crowning energy, the energy of the environment around you. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. So this is the too many cooks in the kitchen sense of what we were talking about earlier with other people's opinions. I mean, they feel like they're contributing or they feel like their contributions are, are appropriate, like the situation calls for them to have a say in the situation but they like they don't quite realize that they're they're just muddying the waters so to speak in the near future we have strength in reverse so this is you feeling vulnerable but it's it's that turning point before turning your weakness into a strength so there's something that's going to be revealed to you perhaps internally of gaining courage through the situation some you're going to take a stand or you're going to find some new level of ability or confidence within yourself because you're going through this specific situation this is what it's trying to bring out of you it's that hidden inner strength that that potential that exists within you your surprise energy is the world it, this is big. This is big time great things happening. Um, the world is about completion, but it's also about leveling up and about um, like becoming more whole, like a more complete version of you, a more complete uh, version of yourself. I love that for you. That's awesome. Let's take a look at your hopes and fears. Okay. What are Pisces hopes and fears? We have the seven of presence in reverse. I mean, that makes total sense. You you want to make sure that where you're investing your time and attention and efforts are fertile ground. Like you don't want to put your energy and invest in something that's not going to pay off for you. Like this could be like being there for someone, being there for someone, being there for someone, and they're not there for you ever. Like. You're really hoping that, I, I think that's that's what you want, that's what you're meant to be strengthened in, is your ability in yourself to be discerning and make good choices into friendships and roommates and love relationships, 
uh, work relationships um, kind of across the board here, I think you want to be more confident in your own ability to know where is the fertile ground? Where can I invest myself that's going to pay off in the future? In your uh, energy of the eventual outcome, we have the Hierophant. So everything's going to work out the way that it's meant to, and you're going to have kind of the rules are going to be on your side. The way things should be are, is going to turn out in your favor. Let's take a look at your advice now to close out your reading. What advice do we have for my Pisces? Did I have one flip over? No. Thought, thought we did. Thank you. Okay. Seven of Candles. So take your stand. There's something that you're going to have to uh, make a stand. Um, put your foot down. And make sure you pick your battles here. It's not saying just to be this way willy-nilly. The Seven of Candles, the, the character in the Seven of Candles takes a stand when it's important, when they have the moral high ground, when they know what's right, and when it's so integral to who they are as a person that they just can't behave any other way other than to take a stand. And good news is that it turns out well for the person when they act on those merits. So when that opportunity poses itself to you, let's um, see how you're going to handle the situation differently this time. You know, stand up for yourself, maybe think through like how you're going to present yourself in that way if it's not something you're accustomed to doing. Um, but you'll see some good results, you'll see positive results, and it will strengthen your character as well going through this. All right, so good luck. Um, take care this week, and I'll see you again next week. Bye. Thank you.